Okay guys, I just wanted to make a quick little video here. So, um, I had done one video on liquid culture that looked cloudy, but here this one's a little something different, and I had an idea, and I think you guys are going to like it. So, this is liquid culture that was not viable. Um, you can see it still looks glassy, it's not cloudy. But, I did, instead of testing it on agar, I took a... Uh, two different jars, two different strains, and um, tested them out on a small jar of birdseed. You can see this is like, you know, about half the amount of birdseed that would be in your regular uh, pint jar. And I just, I did two smaller jars because I wanted to test my liquid culture on the birdseed jars instead of putting it to agar and waiting to see if it grew on agar. I inoculated two different jars, two different strains. This one was a dud. And you can kind of see in there, it's still, the water's glassy, it's not cloudy, but the, uh, the consistency of the mycelium in there itself has just this kind of, I don't know, it just doesn't look healthy. It, it's really uh, stringy and, and just kind of loose and discolored. It just doesn't look like healthy mycelium. You know, it's a little brown on the edges. Um, and I tested it on some bird seed, and sure enough, it is not... Uh, viable and this is the strain with a different liquid culture I can't say what kind because you know um, but I did this uh, a day I'm with my liquid culture method I usually can tell I like within 48 hours <laughs> whether it's gonna start growing my ceiling or not and uh, it's a little bit hard to tell with this. Oh, come on, let me let me find the. There's a. Let me, sorry, little tiny blob right there. Um, and oh, you can see a little more growing right there. A little couple spots right there. A little spot up here. Sorry, I know I'm no Steven Spielberg, but so the point of this whole video is I tested some liquid culture on this small tester jar of bird seed as opposed to agar plates and uh, between two different jars and two strains one healthy and one not this one I knew within two days well closer to a day but we'll just say two days um, uh, and I can tell that this is going to start growing mycelium. And so I can go ahead and the rest of the jars I bird seed that I had sterilized along with this one that are all full size jars, I know I can safely inoculate those jars and they're all going to start growing mycelium. And so, yeah, this is super cool because I don't know about you guys. Uh, it may be the way I'm making agar. I'm still very much a rookie when it comes to agar. But it seemed to me like it was taking days and days for it to start growing on the agar for me to find out if it was viable. Eventually would start growing, but it seemed to take quite a long time. And I'm not, you know, familiar enough with agar to know exactly why. If that's, if I'm doing something wrong and you guys get quicker results, uh, when it comes to contamination, that, yes, that shows up very soon in your agar plates. Um, but healthy mycelium can still take quite some time to start growing. And so uh, I, I was, I was, you know, just becoming impatient it seemed like too long and so i came up with this idea instead and god damn it it worked so rejoice y'all we got a faster way to test out our liquid culture yes 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 you can thank me in the comment section all right well i guess that's it for today uh for all you mycologists out there instead of uh spending days on agar you can just spend a day doing a small tester jar of birdseed all right that's it for today. Peace out.